Hello everybody, I'm in the Littlewood, also known as Martin, and welcome back to Metopia. I don't think my voice could go any higher than that. <laughs> I think we're getting a croaky throat. Some of the uh, the upper sounds in my voice are unlocking themselves. Right, you do a bit of magic, Rick, so I'm going to feed you that item right there. We're going to try out the cactus juice, and we're also going to give that to Gordon, seeing as he's our designated healer right now. Yeah, good stuff. And then we finally got the goblin ham. He doesn't like it, but Love God, as always, thinks it's delish. So he's going to go up to the attack boost. So let's have a little look in the shop. I think we might have, oh my God, yeah, something for everybody. Experiment lab gear. Okay. I'm for sure for this entire game going to keep Rick in his bog standard outfit. Unless it's something really bizarre and special, I don't think I'm going to end up changing it. Because like even those goggles there, they don't work. Unless I can take that, the head part off of that. That jacket still looks very lab coaty. Uh, cotton gloves. So those are basically Mickey Mouse gloves, but they're technically not Mickey Mouse gloves. Let's see. Yeah, look, there you go. New weapon. Oh my god. That pose. I can't get over it. That's a massive boost in our attack damage as well. Got it by seven. And then we got a frying pan for old Gordon over there, which is in the shape of a donut. What? All right. I mean, we'll buy it for you, dude. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Here he comes back with his donut. Look at this donut. Cooked to perfection. Fantastic. Only problem is, there's a giant hole in the middle. I prefer mine filled with jam. What, yeah, sure. Whatever you say, Gordon. Right, let's uh, quickly change some clothing, shall we? Oh, dear. Let's just let's just leave Love God doing his thing. I'm, I'm just going to give up with him. Uh, hat appearance, though. We are definitely going to take your hat off, Rick. We need to be able to see all your hair. The suit, though, can stay. Oh, we use food to boost attack by 10 or more. So wait, does Ramsey use HP bananas to heal people? Oh, I've not checked that. Let's have a little look at our items right now. Oh, it's Bellsprout. Are you kidding me? I mean, I kind of should have expected that. Yeah, so we've got three bananas right now. So after we've had a little fight, let's see how that turns out. So I'm assuming you'd have to go over the oasis in order to get to that chest. So we can come back to that at a later date. Let's see what this chump wants. Ah, Princess Peach. Hello there. Ah? Uh? Oh. There is something dodgy about this lamp. I don't trust it. I am but a humble spirit, guardian of this great desert. I was minding my own business when an evil mage trapped me in this lamp. So obviously that must have been Snape. But Snape isn't evil. At least not that we know of, so... I reckon that this guy is bad, and he was put in there for a reason. Would you kindly let me out? Hmm, I don't know. I'll grant you any wish you want. Your heart's desire. Oh, dear. All you need to do is rub the lamp. Uh, okay. Nearly there. Keep going. Ooh. Uh-oh, genie of the lamp. Used to cause no end of trouble until the great siege sealed him in a lamp. I don't even know who to have as this. I mean, is there a good one of the genie from Aladdin? Let me see, genie. If I type that in. Mm, no, there's a magic genie and that's about it. Oh, I'll tell you what I, might be quite cool is if I search Magi, there's an anime called Magi or a manga called Magi, which I quite liked reading. No, nothing for that one. Oh, I've had a perfect idea. Okay, um, and actually his mustache will go really well with this as well. So let's go for this one. I'm going to search that one. Oh, no, that one. There you go. Oh, wait, is it because my mouse is over it? My bad, hold on. <laughs> there you go. Go on. Yeah, there you go. David Blaine, everybody. I tried to think of a couple magicians. I did try searching for Dynamo, who's a British magician, but wasn't really, uh, wasn't finding any good results for that one. And then I saw uh, Chris Angel, and I was like, oh, no, maybe not. But David Blaine is where it's at. Those eyes and the, <laughs> and the eyebrows are going to look perfect. Um, should we not call him David Blaine? Let's just call him Blaine. Yeah, Blaine the Genie. Here we go. Yeah, Genie of the Lamp, Blaine. I don't even know what Blaine sounds like. I've already given him a voice, though, so it's fine. <laughs> Free at last. Um, so, about my wish. What? You were a fool enough to actually believe all that? <laughs> right, then. 
Maybe I'll tear it up in town like old times. Later, boy! And he's out of there. What have you done, Bellsprout? Oh, you. Why are you a cat now? Uh, I'm just minding my own business. I wasn't doing anything wrong. Honest. Here, keep this. Nice. The prince shoved the magic lamp into your hands. Now, leave me be. I'm going home to Mumsy. Whatever you say. Oh, is that Princess Peach? I don't think it is. She looks a bit different there. Maybe I'm just forgetting her face. It's been so long since we were last at Greenhorn Castle. It's fine. Here we go. Next door town. I wonder how many of the faces are going to get ripped out of this area. So we've got... Who are you? I just want to see what the names are. That's Link, apparently. Oh, yeah, I guess so. It's very like Breath of the Wild Link, isn't it? Shalaran. Who's this? Bowser. <laughs> so your son works in the other kingdom. You there, lad. Hear an old man out, will you? Sure. Oh, our land was in an awful plight. It was terrifying. <laughs> I mean, it was awful. No, I didn't enjoy one bit. The genie of the lamp awoke from his slumber. The so-and-so went by the name of Blaine. Ran amok stealing our belongings, he did. But then along came Great Sage Snape. Sucked Blaine right back into his lamp. He'll not see the light of day again for some time, I reckon. I just hope he learned his lesson. But never mind all that. Ain't that Link a darling? Shalaran, Shalaran. Uh, that's a bit creepy. Who are these guys? We've got Sakura and Pig. <laughs> I love the pig. It's so good. Uh, sir, my father's very ill. Yeah, no kidding, he's a pig. Please, would you buy an MP suite for us? Only 500G. I'm going to do it just because there might be something extra out of it. Oh, those faces. Cheers for that, mate. What, you can talk? That'll be 500G, please. He deceived us. Right, I'm not trusting anybody else in this town. You lot can sod off. Don't care if your faces get stolen. Arthur. Well, I never. This is exceedingly strange. I should have been right on top of it. Hmm. What's strange? What's going on with you two? What are you up to? Yeah, I'm Ike. She's Cali. Oh, the Cali one is really good, actually, from, uh, from, <laughs> from Splatoon. I don't know who Ike is, though. Do you ever listen to a word I say? Oh, give me a break. I said, this genie of the lamp's being a real nuisance, isn't he? Is he? It's none of my business. You just don't care about any of this, do you? Look, just stop getting on my case. All right. Those two are going to kick off a lot. Whoa, hello. Who are you? Palutina. So, who are you then? Other than a sound like a Paolo Nutini. Palutina is from... She's a goddess of light from what exactly? Oh, she's apparently from the Kid Icarus series. I've never played a single one of those games, so I wouldn't know that. Anyway. Oh, the humanity. The genie of the lamp attacked us. And he made off with all my hard-earned gold. She's a desert celebrity, apparently. You look like a battle-hardened warrior. Would you mind getting my gold back for me, please? Sure, why not? Thanks ever so much. Only if you promise to split it with us. His hideout's in the underground maze. Just keep an eye out when you leave town. You can't miss it. Oh, dear. How far out is it? Whoa, it's right on the other side. That's all the way to the east. So that's where we're headed. Best of luck. Yeah, sure. We've accepted Palatina's request. Right, well, let's carry on as we were then. Let's go see Papa Peach. If we can. Oh, yeah, we can. Oh, there's a gold snurp up there as well. Here she is. Let's see. Tuva, Nintendo fan. I thought you weren't for Peach. It's hard to pick a favourite though. So, any amiibo to show me? Hell no, because I'm not sh sh shelling out, forking out. I don't know what I was going to say there. I'm not forking out all that money to get an amiibo reader. No chance. L for now, let's carry on going east until we get to Snape. And then I might do a little ways around 
to the snurp that's at the top. So I'm guessing the snurp, you've got to go up and then right for it. Well, this is a different jingle to last time. Oh, to the chest? Yeah, let's go to the chest. It's just going to save us money when we're trying to get gear and stuff. Unless it's only going to be tickets, that'd be kind of annoying. But we'll see how it ends up. Ah, two tablets. All right, let's do this thing. I'm just going to do regular old attacks. And we're going to start attacking that one on the left. Wow, one hit kill. Nice. Bye, friends. Literally nothing spent there other than, like, two MP from Rick. Good job, guys. Leveling up to four for Ramsey. One HP attack, magic defense, speed, and MP. All stats. Learned flambe. Smack one enemy senseless with a red hot frying pan. Bonus XP, 17. Okay. Oh, I did not mean to do that. I wanted to click on Rick. I mashed A when I shouldn't have. My bad. My bad. Right. Oh, no. Well, oh, I've left something back at the inn. What have you forgotten? Uh, my diary. I didn't know you kept a diary. Yeah, I mean, like, I write down all my equations in it, and I've been keeping it for ages. I still got this nice plastic wrap on it and all. So, you don't actually write anything in it. Are you supposed to? Uh, let's just, let's just go. Man, I don't get diaries. Whatever you say, Rick. Keep on going. This is a very odd angle for the path to deviate on. It's weird. Oh, no. We've got loads of stacks. All right, let's see what we can do here. Uh, is it worth shopping our claws or doing playful antics? Cheer up a friend with rubbing and purring. Oh, God, no. Let's just go for some attacks. Uh, I'm going to go for... Which one do I like the look of? I don't like the look of you. You're smirking at me the wrong way, so get out of my face. Wow. So they barely have 10 HP. Because Ramsey killed him with 11. How much damage am I going to do? Oh, bonus damage of 24. Because I was being a show-off. All the XP for people? Yeah, I thought Rick was close to leveling. That's who we should have given the bonus to before. So we got two in magic, HP, MP, and speed. And we got one in attack and defense. No new ability, though. And we got three cactus juice. Nice. Hopefully this was the right way to the chest. Yeah, it was. Treasure! Two lots of banshee tears. It's been a while since we've faced those, isn't it? We haven't faced them since the caves. Just south of Greenhorn Town. Oh, there goes the doorbell. Time for another ally. Who are we going to pick? I don't even know. Do we want a healer? Or are we good with, are we, are we good with Gordon right now? Can't decide. I tell you what, seeing as I've been catching up with all their videos again recently, I'm going to add in Danny from the Game Grumps. Let's do it. There was a choice between him and Aaron, but that one looked a little bit more grumpy than the other one. <laughs> Look at it. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and change his name to Danny rather than Dan Grump. Here we go. And one, one, two. Boom. There we are. Uh, what kind of personality? He's very kind, isn't he? He definitely comes across that way. So you're going to be kind. We could make you a pop star because that's kind of what you are. But I almost want to try you as an imp. I think you could pull it off. <laughs> Should we make him an imp? Yeah, why not? Like, we've got a good idea of what the rest of these do. Although we've yet to see an actual mage. Hmm. Grump mage or grump imp? Grump imp sounds funny to say, doesn't it? Grump imp it is. Yeah, we got it. Danny the imp. We're going with a kind persona, but then a devilish look. I like the contrast there. A little juxtaposition. Welcome, Danny. Hope you're doing good, friend. Pleased to meet you. I'm Danny. You're a love god, right? Yep. Great. Nice to meet you. Yay, Danny joined the team. We're back up to a full four. So, who are we going to put in which room? Ramsey and those guys have got two each. Uh, love god and Rick still haven't got uh, acquainted just yet. So, let's put Danny and Ramsey together. See how they get on. We've got plenty of food to get started with as well. Could probably do with buffing Danny up a little bit. So, um, is he going to use magic? He's got nine magic. No, in fairness, Ramsey's the... Oh, sorry, Rick's the magic guy. He just doesn't like Banshee Tears. Let's try Danny with it. Yeah, Danny's got it. Uh, Cactus Juice. Ooh, who's got the most mana here? Looks like it's Ramsey and Rick. And we already knew he was good with that, so let's give that one a try. Nice! Super delicious! Do we give you one more or are you full? Oh, there is enough for another one. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Yes, double super delicious. All the stat boosts. And then finally, some magic. Um, let's see, we've got zero magic on Love God. 
6, 16, and 9. You're somewhat of a magic user. So let's give you a try. Yeah, look, there you go. Plus one. Now, can we buy anything for Danny? He's only just joined us, but I wonder, yep, if he wants a fork spear. I don't even remember what his current weapon looks like. Did we even see it? I don't think we might have done. There you go, fork spear. Oh, he's got a little flutter that he does as well. One extra attack and quite a bit more magic as well. So he is a magic-based character, so that's good to know. Right, oh my word. Outlandish lab gear. He just looks like a giant candy floss. He looks like something pulled out of Wreck-It Ralph. From the, <laughs> from the sweet place. Oh my word, Rick. What are you wearing? So yeah, what did his other weapon look like? Oh, it was just like a regular, like, uh, like fire-pronged one, like a red-pronged one. I like the fork. I think it looks pretty cool. Um, Hat-wise, do we want to keep the horns? Yeah, I think as long as his body's going to be like that, we may as well keep the horns. So I need to remember, before we set on out, I need to make sure I actually grab myself the... Danny. There we go. Sometimes I end up rushing out when we get a new ally and end up not bringing them with us. It's never a good sign. So where to next? So we can go to Snape, or we can go to that treasure chest. It's guaranteed, and it looks like you don't get to Snape by going to the right. Oh, and actually, no, maybe you do. It's just because we didn't go to the right. All right, back on the road again. We got a new MP friend here. Oh, it was a trap. First one of those in a while. What's it going to be? Oh, are these going to be the new slimes? The Jade Butterflies. I like it. Uh, let's just go for a straight up attack. I'm going to go for the one on the far right hand side. Nice, gotcha. Let's see what Danny's attacks look like. Oh, Rick's going to have a crack. Yep, not much health on those guys. All right, come here. Donut, keep on walking. Well, they won't walk, Gordon, will they? They're butterflies. They don't have legs. Well, they do, but teeny tiny ones. I can't possibly carry their body. Let's see. Um, I'm going to go for you there, seeing as you're low on health. Nice. I didn't really pay much attention to Danny's attack a second ago. What's he going for? Nice. Extra damage on you. Hey, oh, shot out of Wubba Lubba Dub Dub. Perfect. Awesome stuff. Good job, dude. Good job. I just thought, actually. Oh, wow. Whoa, whoa. Double level for Danny. We caught him up well quick. Love God leveled up as well. Two on the HP, one MP, and an attack is uh, up by three. So is defense and two on speed. Danny, level two, loads of buffs. He learned Naughty Pitchfork. Skewer an enemy with a fork formed of darkness. What? And also learned Bum Jab. Gently prod a friend and get them to attack an enemy in your place. That's quite good. So if somebody could finish the job, I bet the computer would know to do that, wouldn't they? That's really good. I wonder if he gets to choose the ally that attacks as well. We got Toy Lab Gear. More, ar more armor for Rick. But the armor isn't white, so we're not going to stick with it. Defeat 30 kinds of monsters found in Metopia. Good stuff. Raise the cat job level to level 5. All good. Ooh. Love God and Rick are getting pretty close. Ah, oh, I was hoping they'd have a little chit chat going on. Right, Love God's thinking of the shop. What do you want, friend? Oh my god. <laughs> it just gets more kawaii as we go on. This is absurd. Look at that outlandish cat suit. Brilliant. All the stars. Oh, he's never looked more fresh. I'm going to leave him in that entire outfit, just because I quite like the colour scheme of it. And my blonde hair goes with the stars, unfortunately. Right, that's an interesting outfit. What does Danny want? Oh, yeah, that one looks way cooler. There's some better shades on that one. He bought the cat costume. A uh, bat costume, even. Oh, you can do the different colours. Oh. What colour do we want to go for? Do we go for black or do we go for, like, the yellow? The Grump's colours is sort of, like, orange, isn't it? Yeah, I reckon, like, a golden looking back might be quite cool. And then we got Chef Ramsay wants the frilly uniform. Not that I'm going to let him wear it. I prefer him in the outfit he's in now. There it is. Get those stat boosts in. So we're going to go from 8 defence, or 18 defence, sorry, to 22. Little boost of 4. Oh, I didn't realise we got some food as well. Let's try out uh, Rick with it. Butterfly honey. Yeah, he quite likes that. Good to know for future reference. And then back off into the field we go. I reckon we've got one more stretch left in us today. We could really do it getting Danny leveled up as well. So if we get any bonus XP, we'll be sure to award that to him so he can catch up with us. Where to next? Oh, it takes you straight to that guy. Oh, so we were going the right way, pretty much. We were going up to the Golden Snook by the looks of it. Might as well stick with it. Just a minute there. 
who has a never-ending thirst for fun and games? It's me, the Quizmaster Sheik. You have the look of someone who's very perceptive. Do you want to try my quiz called Who Is It? Uh, sure. Let's get this show on the road, then. Right, so I've got to make sure I recognise my own characters. It's going to be bad if I fail this. Three questions, let's begin. Ten seconds, I think it was total to answer all three, wasn't it? Let's see, which one's Love Guard? Oh, oh, that one. What? Oh. Correct. Why did he say... I don't understand why the second to last guy said something. What is this? Which one's Ramsey? That one, I think. Yeah, good, got it. Right. Oh, it's ten seconds per one by the looks of it. Oh, that's good then. I thought it was ten seconds across all three. Which one is the real Ramsey? Uh, that one, I want to say. Yeah, because I think he's got the tiny, the tiny iris, hasn't he? Good job. Well, blow me away. You did great, lads. Good job. Good job. Congratulations. You beat me fair and square. Here's loads of sweets. Now, come get in my van. What? <laughs> Quizmaster, please. This is not the time nor the place. It's really bad. Right, here we go then. Time to go for the snurp. See, now, snurps definitely sound like something from a Rick and Morty episode. What are we going to go for? Oh, they actually deal a lot of damage. I'm going to shop my claws. And I should have put some sprinkles on a little bit. But we'll see what we can do. Eight damage has only done that much. We do have a lot of life. Uh, well, I'm sorry, we've got at least one life to give out. So that's fine. Just make sure these guys survive. Right, we're almost out of our HP stuff right now. Let's see what we can do. If we all focus that one character... Hey, new skill. The bum jab. Who's going to attack in your place? Ramsey's going to go in. Nice. 13 damage as well. Ooh, that was a one shot on Rick, man. Really bad. Not good. Sprinkles. Right, your claws are nice and sharp. Let's bring you up. And then hopefully we can jump straight in there with a big old attack. You ready for this, guys? Let's finish him off. First snurp is going to go down. And then we should be able to negate the rest of the damage. Or heal through the rest of the damage that the other snurp can uh, dish out. Flombe. Right, so you get the pan piping hot. Thwack him with it. Flombe. Cackle? What? What ability is this? Naughty Pitchfork. Oh, this is the shadow one. Oh, that's cool. I like it. Digging it, dude. Digging it. Let's just go for the attack. Nice. One more attack. And it's out of there. 290. 10 away from the next divine power. Yep, good job, everybody. Loads of XP, loads of money. Everyone's happy. Oh, no XP. Well, bugger me. Oh, this was the right way to go to Snape. We could have just skipped a whole portion of it, I think. Uh, do we want to go to the inn right now? No, I think we're good. We're all back up to full. So this is going to be the way of going towards the cave, isn't it? Or the underground maze, as it was called. I'm worried about entering there. Right, here's Snape, then. Oh, no. Oh, dear. <laughs> Don't start crying, Ramsey. Hey, are you okay? Oh, I, oh I've been fallen. <laughs> Good show, friends. Good show. They both found it funny. Right, let's carry on going, then. Get that sprint on. Who are we facing next? Any new enemies? Nope, just all your jade butterflies. All right, let's do this thing. Uh, skills? Nah. Let's just attack. One on the far right. There you go. You're down. Get a couple of those. Bit of a waste of MP, to be honest, but I'm not here to judge. There you are. Good. Three more. They're all going for attacks. Just going to keep them rock and rolling. 20 damage. Tell you what, there's been a pretty good boost with uh, our attack recently. Don't know what's changed with Love God, but he's suddenly whooping butt. Hopefully we can get one more encounter before we get to Snape, because then that'll be as all, uh, That'll get us all maxed out at 300. So, Rams are leveling up. 3 HP. He's got 2 on attack, MP and defense. 1 magic, 1 speed. And Rick, he's got 3 MP boosted. Good God. And same with magic as well. 2 HP, defense and speed. 1 attack. Nice. Oh, he's got Ignite. Add dubious chemicals to a friend's weapon to widen attack range. That's really cool. I really like that ability. HP up by three, one uh, MP, speed defense, and attack and magic for Danny. Good job, guys. This is a good team this time around. Really liking them. I think I still feel more comfortable with my previous team, I've got to be honest. I really like the balance we had in the team. Well, now. Fancy meeting you here, Potter. Uh, no, wrong guy. There's a genie running amok. 
Hmm, so the seal is broken. That's less than ideal. Wait, what? what's that lamp I see? You mean this? Conveniently, that is the very lamp I'm after. I can use it to seal the villain. Sure, the process is quite simple. Just hold the lamp and recite the incantation. Incantation? What, like a spell? Hmm, it's the genie's name. Just keep saying his name over and over and over, whilst I'll show you how low I can go. Marambe! <laughs> What's he doing? Repeat his name, huh? Correct. I know you can do it. All right, thanks, Snape. Appreciate it, buddy. We're out of here. So we're headed into the mysterious maze, but not before we get to the inn. It's probably gonna be one more encounter before we get there. Oh, what's going on? Will we be able to seal this genie away? Well, I don't know. The spell for the seal is the genie's name, right? But what was that genie's name again? I can't remember. Well, I'm sure I'll remember sooner or later. Well, come to think of it, did we ever know in the first place? <laughs> I don't know if we did. No, I don't think we've actually met him, have we? Like, we know he's the player and the viewer, but the actual characters haven't interacted with him just yet. Maybe Snape mentioned it. No, somebody in town mentioned it, didn't they? It was Bowser. Bowser was going on and on and on about it. Raise the chef job level to five. Good job. There's a medal. Oh, no. Don't go off screen. There we go. And the scientist, also to level five. Good job, guys. We're almost halfway, like, towards the levels that we had before. Catching up what feels like a lot quicker than before. Here we are, then. Relationship has gone up to level two. Show off together. Nice. Whilst I'm there looking like some kind of sailor ranger. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Ah, oh, what a perfect place to stop. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. In the next episode, we will take this lamp and head in to the underground maze of Next Door's Desert. Ta-ra.